You dare challenge me? The Knights of Vengeance can have but one leader, and it will be Frost. Look at you, Raythor. Barely half the man you used to be. Which would still make me twice the soldier you'll ever be! <laughs> You've always relied on brute strength. <laughs> If you start using your brain now, you'd only hurt yourself. High marks, Raythor. But if you are their leader, what will you lead them towards? Vengeance. We strike against those who swore an oath to Prince Phobos and yet betrayed our master. Well, what are you waiting for? how much I hate the spring. Cornelia, he's just a guy. Don't let him ruin a spectacular day. You speak, but the words have no meaning. Come on, we all know you're bummed because Caleb decided to stay on Meridian. Him? Oh, he is so over. From now on, I am strictly an Earth Guy girl. What's up? <laughs> hey, sis. Hey, Peter. Nice reflexes. Nice muscles. How about you and I go one-on-one? -on -one? Or the four of you could join our game. The guys won't mind. Uh, maybe next time. Okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> not a word, not one word. Hey, Cornelia, your mom said it was cool if I waited for you. <laughs> What's with the fur bag? He's a fur gift. I thought he might cheer you up. For the last time, I don't Cornelia, need... Cornelia, did you see the kitty? Mom said we could keep him. Will says he's a him, not a her. Are you gonna name him? <gasps> can I name him? You can name it, you can keep it. Oh, wow, really? If you keep it away from me. Like now, for instance. Mom, look what Cornelia gave me. Wow, you were right, Will. Ditching two little pests did cheer me up. As for ditching the rest of you... Oh, hello, we get it. Miss Congeniality meets her space. <gasps> so who ordered the incredibly impressive portal? Because I'm torn between loving the new Violet Violet Twist and being kind of terrified by it. Will, this is my living room and my mom's in the kitchen. It's not me, I can't explain it. But I, I think we're being summoned. One guess what comes next. Guardians, unite! Napoleon? Okay, I am officially impressed. But what's with all the purple? It's the veil. 
up close and personal. Grandma! You brought us here? Nope, not my mojo. Was minding my own business back at the Dragon. But when Kandrakar calls... Wait, wait, wait. Kandrakar exists? <laughs> I thought it was just a magical brand name. Looks like we weren't the only ones invited to the party. The Queen of Meridian and her honor guard have arrived. It's okay, mage. To my friends, I'm always just Elyon. Brave new world means brave new stuff. Hey, Cornelia. On behalf of the Council, welcome to Kandrakar. Althor at your service, and my venerated colleague is... Eleanor. Year's been good to you. And you are as full of life as ever, Yandling. <laughs> Come now. The fortress at the heart of infinity awaits. Well done, Tynar. Your work crew is a week ahead of schedule. When I served Phobos in his hunt for the rebels, I led the attack that leveled this village. The least I can do is to help rebuild... Remember the day you first trembled before the Knights of Vengeance! Tracker! Frost! Miranda! Go! Sandpit! Tynar recruited countless loyal guards to betray our prince to the rebellion. And so... Vengeance must rain upon him! Dinar! Has the fortress met with your expectations, young guardian? Oh, we're in awe. Definitely in awe. Wait until you see the Oromares. Aura what? The Oromares! <laughs> This is Luba, keeper of the Oromere Globes, the source of all Guardian magic. The Oromeres transmit Kandrakar's mystic energy across the dimensions to the heart and to the Guardians. Hey, wonder which one has your name on it. Right, whichever one is coldest. Oh. Look not hurt, Global. Just a sense for you. This way, the Oracle awaits in the court of the Council. The Oracle? He is our leader and a being of true wisdom. Oracle, we are honored to... My dear Oracle. That's Tibor. Cute one's the Oracle. Oh, uh, right. I remain your humble servant. And yet, somewhat more affectionate than I recall. But I share your enthusiasm. We have all waited years for this day. Isn't this exciting? Isn't what exciting? I mean, I'm sorry, but when will someone tell us what is going on? Now, Tibor, if you please. From time immemorial, it has been the Council's task to protect the infinite dimensions. But 13 years ago, Prince Phobos came to power. The threat he posed was so grave, we were forced to quarantine Meridian from the other worlds to prevent the spread of his evil. And so, the veil was raised. But now, Phobos has been defeated, and a new day is about to dawn. Whoa, 
squared. It is done. The veil has been lowered. May the need for it never rise again. What are the guardians of the veil if there is no veil to guard? You would both be valuable additions to the council. Oh. I'm very flattered, Oracle, but also very retired. I do accept this honor, but on Meridian, I am also tasked with keeping Phobos in his cage. His minion, Miranda, has already escaped. Miranda escaped? Why am I only hearing about this now? Never mind. I have to go. I have to get her. I do sense disharmony on Meridian, but your power unchecked, my young queen, presents an equal danger. We have much to meditate upon before you return to your kingdom. Your Highness, I will capture Miranda, no matter what it takes. What it takes is teamwork. Who? Us? But I thought... You are now the guardians of the infinite dimensions. Does that come with a raise? Um, just one teensy-weensy glitch? When the veil went poof, didn't all the portals poof with it? The veil's passing opens up the old ways of traversing dimensions. Mage. Well, what I do with my mage ring, you will learn to do with a heart. And what they do with talismans, you may accomplish simply as part of your birthright. So, no new jewelry? This child is a fold in space. Next stop, Meridian. Caleb, Guardians! And then the knights vanished, and they took Tynar. Because he joined the Rebellion? Talk about sore losers. If they're settling old scores, we need to know their next target. I'm thinking that's me. Vathic? I betrayed Phobos, and I'm why Raythor got tossed in the abyss. His knights will be coming after me, and no one else is getting hurt for my sake. I'll face him alone. Stand, Vathic. Any more brave words? Just these. I have good friends. So you laid a trap. Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> They're coming for us! Thank you, Captain Obvious. Mr. Meridian can't live without me. Oh, that's great, Cornelia. Now dial it down a bit. I can't stop it! Try! No! I wasn't going for Earthquake! Loaded and ready. But Blunk not smell portal. Hey, <laughs> 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 
Bert not steal? All this on consignment? Split profit 60-40? I'm afraid we're not looking to sell. But perhaps I could offer you a gift. Gift? What is gift? The tooth of the Tonga. A creature that could traverse dimensions. <laughs> no one ever gave Blunk gift before. Blunk not know what to... Help your friends. I sense they need you. Blank will. Blank promise. Blank will help friends all the time. I sense they need you. Now. I'm sorry. I don't know what went wrong with my powers. It wasn't your powers. It was your head. As in that thing that wasn't in the game. Excuse me? Well, you were kind of hyper about showing up a certain someone. Showing up or showing off. <laughs> Oh, like I need to show you anything. My powers are uh, amped up. Whatever I tried came out huge. Oh, like your ego. Yeah. Enough. You two can hate each other all you want, but learn to work together. Tynar and Vathic need our help. Blank, okay. Got gift. Tonga tooth mean Blunk has sniffed out his last portal. <gasps> Wait a second. Could you sniff out the Knights of Vengeance? Uh, could, but why would? Vengeance sounds scary bad to Blunk. <laughs> Blunk sniff. Blunk find. He did good, Blunk. Real good. Because Rhino smelled bad. Real bad. At least Tynar and Vathic are still alive. All right. We've got the element of surprise. So listen up. They're here. Be ready. You can keep them if you hurry. Guardians, it's a trap! Miranda's sealing us in! She must have started as soon as we entered the canyon! <laughs> Spectacular.
sorry the nights got away. No fear. Their days are Meridian are numbered. Ugh, Meridian. Everything always has to be about Meridian with you. And everything always has to be about you with you. Okay, great. Here we go again. Oh, no, we don't. Cornelius says goodbye. Okay, this is not the basement of the Silver Dragon. Guess this bold stuff takes practice. Whoa. Ugh, now what? I know this is gonna sound like a line, but haven't we met before? Duh! No big mystery, bro. This is Cornelia's older sister, Lillian. Hi, <laughs> I'm Peter. I uh, could have sworn Cornelia had a younger sister. <laughs> Silly you. Got a jet, but I'll see you around, Lillian. Uh, sure. <laughs> Lovely. Now she changes back? Okay, why is she so cheerful? She nearly blew our cover. Her powers are wig. Caleb's still... Irma, let her have her moment. I foresee some very interesting moments ahead. 